Hey girls, you wanna go show them the new truck? Welcome back to the channel, Portia and Corey. They are crazy excited to show you my brand new truck that I am bringing to the channel that I bought this week. I'm really excited. I'm not a truck guy. And these guys have already been in it and they love the truck. They absolutely love the truck. And uh, they're excited to go back out and see it again and hop around it because it's something new for them as well. But uh, this is the first time you're viewing my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification and leave a thumbs up as well. So I've never owned a truck a day in my life. Now, obviously all my best friends have trucks because if I need to borrow one or I need their, you know, whatever they have, which is kind of typical throughout the country that all of our best friends have trucks. Well, now I've just gained a ton of best friends. So this is a really good investment for that, that I have good friends now. But uh, nonetheless, uh, never owned a truck a day in my life. And I'm really excited for this one because there's a few things that I really like about this truck that, you know, it's just gonna help me do some future endeavors for the channel. It just, it's just gonna be fun. Also, don't forget uh, ChevyDudeStore.com. Link is in the description below. Support the channel with the purchase of some Chevy Dude apparel. And I will see you guys at YouTube Callout coming up here at the end of April. All right, so here it is. This is a 1995. Come on, Porsche, let's go. Silverado K1500. It's a four wheel drive Z71. This is a one owner vehicle that a customer of mine, also a YouTube subscriber, traded in at the dealership. He custom ordered this vehicle way back in 1995 or 1994, whenever it was, like we talked about it, and I can't remember the exact date, but this was specifically done for him. Now, one thing that I think Chevrolet has done wrong in the past is we don't have two-tone trucks anymore. I love this blue and silver. Now my favorite truck of all time is a red and silver truck, which happened to be one of the first trucks I ever sold in my career way back in 2000. So having this blue and silver truck is pretty awesome. So this is an extended cab truck, but in 1995, they didn't have extended cab doors. So this is a fixed portion of the truck. These do not open up on the driver or the passenger side. If I remember right, 1999 was the first year that uh, I believe the passenger door opened. So I started selling cars in 2000 and I had those back then, but I just can't remember exactly. But uh, if you look at this truck, this truck is super nice. I mean, this is this is well-kept truck. I mean, this is a 24-year-old truck, and it's got little itty-bitty things like that. I mean, that's not a big deal. Um, you know, there's a dent right here. Not a big deal. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but uh, not a big deal. Little scratches on it. You know, there's a scratch right there. But you know what? This is going to be a fun project because I'm going to bring this back to looking really, really good, and we're going to do some mods to it and I have some ideas on mods that I wanna do. Uh, but if you have ideas of what I should do on mods, throw those in the comments section below. And then this is the cool thing right here. 87,000 miles, can you see that? 87,000 miles, verifiable uh, via Carfax and other sources that I have. So this is exactly how the truck was traded in. I haven't done anything to it, I haven't cleaned it up. Um, I did some testing on it just to buy it because obviously with a 24 year old truck, uh, you're gonna have some issues somewhere or other that you just can't simply see whatnot. I did a pressure check on the truck. There's a little bit of an oil leak uh, here and there. Uh, a couple, uh, there's a transmission leak. The uh, driver's side front ABS sensor is bad so I need to replace that. The clock spring in the steering wheel is bad uh, so I gotta fix that. The only issue is is parts for a 1995 K1500 Silverado 
are tough to come by. So, um, you know, now I'm not a big fan of having lights on up here. I can't stand it. And just putting black electrical tape over it doesn't, doesn't work for me. So, uh, we've got to, we've got to fix that. I got to get those lights off there. Uh, I drove this yesterday for the first time, the longest time I drove it around the dealership, uh, you know, just like a mile or two and you know, whatnot. But yesterday I drove this truck, uh, from, work to home doing about 70 80 miles an hour the entire time oh yeah that me mentioned that too uh, i'm gonna need some type of front brake so we're gonna have to get those wheels off and see what the brake pads look like see what the brake rotors look like there's a bad shutter when you hit the brakes so uh almost jars your teeth out so <clears throat> probably have to put some front brakes on it and uh, i plan on doing all this stuff myself i'm no mechanic i've never pretended to be a mechanic but I've been around the car business long enough that I get the gist of a lot of things. And this has got a 5.7 liter engine, which is the 350 engine. And you know that these are extremely easy to work on. So it's a great engine and a great truck for me to work on and learn to work on uh, with less risk to break anything, right? To harm the truck, to you know put myself in danger if I do something wrong and whatnot. But uh, so, so I'm really excited about that. But if you are local here to Louisville, and um, and I'll pay, I have no problem paying. Uh, I'm not asking for anything free. But if you're local here to Louisville and want to help me on this truck, or if you have a company that you want some uh, exposure, I definitely would love for some guidance and some help for me to do the work myself, uh, or simply just, uh, you know, one thing I want to do is maybe put an extra leaf spring on here so I can up the uh, capacity back here and the towing there. So maybe get a trailer, haul the Corvette or Camaro around. Uh, to like YouTube call outs and stuff like that that we're doing later this year. So those are a couple things that I'm thinking about doing that uh, I'm really excited about doing. So uh, I haven't showed you the engine yet. Let me pop this and we'll look at the engine as well because this is pretty sweet. So checking out this engine, um, we, it looks like we have a fairly new alternator in here. Um, I think this is, I think, uh, you can roast me in the comments below if I'm wrong. I think this is the AC uh, unit or drive unit or compressor or whatever you want to call that, but that's brand new. Um, the uh, AC canister back there, uh, all those lines are brand new lines. Um, you know, so a lot of this stuff is, is new and you can kind of, it's hard to see down there with the, the dark light, but um, you know, there's a lot of oil down there. Uh, transmission fluids leaking a little bit transmission fluids brand new in here um, but uh, you can kind of see a little bit of residue you can see where I kind of put my hand right there off camera that I was rubbing that just to kind of see how much was there um, it's gonna need a new drive belt on it so I needed to put a new serpentine belt on it so uh, which is cool never owned a car with a carburetor before uh, everything I've ever owned is a car as a uh, fuel injected so uh, it's gonna be interesting I've taken that off it's got a brand new air filter in there so that's really good so this truck has been really well taken care of um, by my customer and who also is a YouTube subscriber brand new batteries the dual post battery so that's really cool so say if i want to put a light bar on here uh or do something like that put some accessories i can wire that right to the battery which is awesome um that's this makes it so much easier to wire any type of accessories and then this is really cool i have never seen this on a car before and this if this happened today uh the roast and the memes that would happen would uh, uh would be out there but this is actually a light so that way dare I say it, but if you happen to break down at nighttime or you're somewhere in the dark, this can actually come out and you can kind of sit here and see what's going on. Now, I tried to get it out and uh, uh, I just can't seem to, oh wait, maybe I did it right here for the first time on camera. There we go. Look at that. So, so this comes out like this. I've tried this off camera like five or six times. Look how far this is out. Like, like I'm way out here. This is, this is far. So I can turn this light on and now I can sit here and I could be like this and checking, checking things out and have some light and whatnot. They just went off for some reason. Uh, I don't know why, but, uh, let's see if it came back on. Nope. Didn't come back on. It's, it's been on in there as you saw. So it's kind of interesting that they have this, they don't have this anymore today, but, uh, it's 24 year old technology right there. Back on the inside, I showed you earlier, 87,084 miles, 0.7 miles uh, on this car. So you got uh, manual lights there, uh, tape player. Don't think CDs were out yet in 1995. So if they were, definitely, ah, they were. I was, what am I saying? They were out in 95. Just 
a luxury inside of a truck. Uh, AC works great. It's ice cold. Checked out yesterday. And, uh, you know, the steering wheel looks good. A little chip right here. Not that big of a deal. Uh, it's four-wheel drive. What I really like about this is it's mechanical four-wheel drive, not electronic four-wheel drive. So a lot of the trucks, they'll have the four-wheel drive system here. They'll have the push buttons that are right here for two-wheel high, four-wheel high, four-wheel low, all that good stuff. So that's really cool that this is a mechanical because it's just less things that can go wrong as the truck gets older. And uh, it goes into four-wheel drive with no problem, went into four-wheel low with no problem. And um, this is what's interesting right here. So the truck also has this antenna if you didn't see it earlier and I'm looking I was like what is this antenna for OnStar wasn't really out back then this is a similar to OnStar and then that clip was in there as well and if I look at that there's a wire coming up through the top and I fished down and found the wire down under here and when I found it it's got this coaxial cable type uh end on it right there and I'm like oh my gosh this was a car phone a legitimate car phone from the 90s that was in this truck so like i need this lever right here i like to find this lever or a retrofitted lever that i can make um might want to put new seat covers in here i haven't decided what i want to do yet on it uh cars obviously need to be detailed pretty heavily uh back here looks really really good so i'd assume that there's got to be somebody out there that can make seat covers for this thing and uh make this thing look brand new again again can't open these so this is really important because this is what brings this up and uh, entry into the back seat since there is no doors on here it's just a two-door truck so there's your back seat laid down uh my customer obviously has had a dog which is fine i've got two dogs and they were already in here and they love the truck so we'll have a good dog truck that they can do and uh you know again i'll detail all this stuff up and this stuff's gonna look brand new and uh i'll, I'll do that and show you guys uh the project there so uh checked out all the codes on there so it's got all the codes on there z71's got uh let's see if it's got locking diff i forgot to look at that g80 yep g80 locking diff it's right there so it's got the locking differential still has the owner's manual 95 ck pickup chevrolet Look at that owner's manual. Isn't that amazing? So, uh, oh, they did have a CD player back there. How to operate your new radio. Tape CD player. That was a CD player. That was the tape player. Interesting. 1995. You know, one thing to uh, look at this truck, man. There is not a single spot of rust on this body anywhere. There's nothing. I mean, if you look here, obviously this is a big portion for rust on these trucks. You start looking under here, there's no rotting under there. I mean, just nothing, absolutely nothing. It looks so good. So I'm really excited to uh, do some work on this truck. And uh, I think, um, I think I can bring this back. I think I can bring this shine really, really well. I think uh, it's really old paint. I don't think I've worked on this old of paint before. Um, I'm really good at buffing. I'm really good at detailing. But uh, so this will be a little bit of a challenge for me too, just to make sure I don't burn the paint or do anything crazy. Uh, I'm gonna ask a couple of my detail friends just to make sure. Uh, I'm thinking right before I put my buffing wheel on this, and uh but i'm gonna bring this back to uh, a great shine and uh it's gonna look really good and i'll show you guys the after part so there's a little dent right here um i think my paintless dent repair guy can get rid of that you can kind of see that on camera there i don't think that's a big deal um you know just normal chips up here but you know little stuff like this not that great of a big deal this actually might buff out uh, i think this would buff out right here i don't think this is uh into the clear i think it's just a scuff and that'll buff out so we'll see how that goes there you go my new 1995 k1500 silverado and i gotta tell you this i would not buy this truck normally um i never thought that i was a truck person never really um needed a truck in my life because really it's just going to sit around i'll probably just have it sitting at the dealership really it's probably where it's going to be mainly uh because i don't have room here as you can see my driveway is kind of small and i've got multiple cars already gone so the camaro's not here my son's car is not here uh, so i don't want to be shuffling cars all around so it's probably gonna be sitting at the dealership uh but we'll do some fun things with the channel i gotta tell you you guys are the reason i bought this truck um i've had so many people say you should buy a truck for the channel and all this stuff so you know here you go i, I 
I'll read every single comment out there. And for you people who say, hey, bring a truck to the channel, I think this is kind of a more unique truck rather than buying something like a 19 Silverado uh, or you know a Duramax or something like that. Uh, I think we can have some fun with this. And again, I've said it a couple times already in the vlog, but uh, I don't mean to be redundant, but if you've got ideas of what I should do, or if you're local here to Louisville and want to help, hit me up, put it in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to uh, communicate with you. So again, as always, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Check out the Chevy Dude merch store. The link is in the description below. Buy some Chevy Dude merch, support the channel. Have a great day. Drive safely.